two roses. What? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that was mean. I'm just saying. Hello, so. my name is Errol. I'm Witless. And I don't have a cool name. You have leaf. leaf. That's a cool name. It's leaf that's oh, not yes, spelled right? like leaf. No. It's leaf that's not spelled like leaf. It's like a Viking leaf. name. Yes. And we are here to review. And we went to just last night, in fact. And so we <laughs> made sure that we could review this for you guys so that uh, it was still fresh in our minds. Yeah, even though. I'm, I'm tired. Are you tired? <laughs> my, Why? Were you up late boss. last night with, with men? With you and Leaf and Well, yes, and other with men, men afterwards. No. Because I know you're a Why popular girl. Why are you doing these girl. things to me? <laughs> Why are you tired? Oh, you were acting. She's an actor. So She's a good actor. She's a good too. actor. She's, She's in a play. Actor. Actually, I'm with Leaf. Both of them are in a play coming up soon. But we're not here to talk about that. No, we're not. We will promote that later. We are here to talk yes, about Yes, we shall. We're not going to promote the Elephant Man in no, the moment. No, no. We'll but promote Manda the Elephant Man in, later. Manda's in it. That Manda's in it. Oh, no. What do you guys call it when no. you talk about, we when don't you talk talk about, about the Elephant lines? Man? What? Line runs? Line runs. They were doing, <laughs> they were doing running of the lines. Running of the lines. Really? Yeah, that's what they're called. Really? Line, or Italians, that's another word for it. Italians? Yeah. Italian jump. Well, line you, runs. You yeah. call that's what you call it. <laughs> line runs. No wonder you guys are known for your coke habits. <laughs> <laughs> what? What if you're on coke, you have more creative names for them? I don't know, I've never been on coke, so... So we're here to, we're here to, this is supposed oh, to wait, be G-rated. Oh, wait, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I'm tired today. So let's talk about let's the talk movie. Let's talk about the movie. Yes. We were hoping to keep this under 50 minutes. We're at the I said, bad I should have brought in a stopwatch or something, or I should hit you every time you go off topic. That's not nice. That sounds like a great idea. Man, I, I cut my hair. The arrow should be in the middle. <laughs> you guys liked it. I liked I it. Know. I did like it. Yeah, I did I like it. Yeah. There are things, there, I mean, I think Leaf, I mean, I liked it a lot. Right. I found some holes in it, but actually one thing I did like a lot was that it totally had an 80s feel to it. So yeah. it, I was thinking of, like, Dune the whole time. In this time, the most precious substance in the universe is the spice melange. The spice extends life. Barsoom. A world on the brink. For Zadenga's new power threatens to destroy our city of Helium. And if Helium falls, so does Barsoom. Everybody pans the original dude. That's but it is problem. still fun, though. No, oh, mean, of course yeah. it's great fun. Once yeah. you get it past the fact thong, that it... a thong. Sting a thong. I didn't notice that part. <laughs> Anyway, that doesn't matter. That hey, doesn't this, matter. This is similar because they're on a desert planet. Yep. Mars is a desert wow. planet. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time since I've seen Dune. Yeah. Whew. And, um... And, and eyes glow. Eyes glow, but they're evil eyes. They're not evil good eyes. eyes. Oh, yeah, so what's his name? Blackthorn? What? <laughs> main guy, the main evil guy is a guy from Sherlock Holmes. Blackthorn... And so Blackthorn reminds me of... Ultima 5's bad guy is if it was also named Blackthorn. He was a guy that took over Reign of the King, I think it was, and you had to go in. And uh, it was, I remember playing this on my Commodore. There's a dog in this movie. There's a Oh, yeah, he's hilarious. <laughs> Who remind me a lot about, like, the trunk so from There's Terry Pratchett. Six legs. <laughs> Except Terry Pratchett, I think he have a hundred legs on that trunk. But this little dog, he moves fast. You know what we should do? We should actually outline what the movie's about first. Why? Like, they should know. It's about should... a guy that jumps he on Mars. <laughs> and and there's all sorts of fighting and he jumps. And then there's this <laughs> girl, sadly, who can't act romantically. I, you guys think he can? can. Okay, yeah, oh, then... No, she can act. Just she can act. Right. Just not, romantically. Not she's a romantic she interest romance. in this, yes. Here, I, I know did. what we should you do. Did. Why don't you two act like how it was? Pretend you're... John Carter, you can be the girl. Her name was Deja. I see you, John Carter. I see your heart, and I follow it. <clears throat> One of the things that I loved about it is that the special effects were the most consistent special effects I've seen in a movie in a long yeah, time. Yeah, Sim wasn't... Yeah, go Yeah, ahead. simply because Andrew Stanton, the director, is... that's his special... And for those who don't know who Andrew Stanton is... Hey there. I'm Andrew Stanton, director of John Carter. So, John Carter... <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you like you you, you dated John Carter? Do you was, think he was good looking? There was a lot of there was a lot well, of. He was really. I don't know. He was. Really? Was, I don't know. He, did, he, was, he, no, he, he was good looking. He kind of really? looked like was, Ashton Kutcher. Um, he did. He kind of looked like a mix between Ashton Kutcher and Sawyer from Lost. Um, he looked. He looked like he was dirty all the time. Yeah, it was Ashton Kutcher. I I actually I really liked um. The, uh, uh, John the, Carter. the the Tharks yeah. or the John? Tharks. Uh, yes, all those. Those were actually my favorite yeah. bits of the movie. Whenever Four they would arms. go back, twice the loving, mm -hmm. or hugging. <laughs> Meant to say hugging on that one. Meant to say hugging. Twice the hugging. They're at war. There's factions at war, and the one city is destroying Mars bit by bit. And you don't really need to know the plot. There's no. just a lot of fighting and jumping. Fighting and, and jumping, aliens. and apparently, I guess in the book or someone was she, telling he's me, read the book. He's I, read the I book. haven't read the book yet. Apparently, I'm on it. apparently in the it. book, um, it's actually if this was like movie a movie that was done purely to the book, it would be like NC-17 because everybody's naked on Mars oh. in the book. They, because it's so hot, they only wear what they have to, which wow. is like guns and jewelry. NC seventeen sounds like a Tarantino movie. I thought I thought guns you were and trying, guns and jewelry. Were, guns and jewelry. You were the just movie. reading a serial number off. <laughs> Reservoir of Mars. Star Trek really wrong. So that's why. What what's happened. the actual rating? NC seventeen. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, I no, really that, you're right. Oh, you're okay. right. He was just thinking of. Star Trek. Star yeah, I know. No, the one one part that really bugged me was uh, the kid. The the kid. Oh, in the you and your I couldn't help it. He's not like a kid. He's like yeah, I think he might be Manda's like age. He would have dated no. him. I didn't know. <laughs> he was like no, a whole hair. every single Oh, you're into redheads. Like, he, she is. Wait, oh, no, wait, 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 I didn't know that. Yeah. Wait, look. Oh, you know what was okay. awesome speaking of redheads? <laughs> The Brave trailer looks awesome. He oh the my The Brave goodness. trailer looks wicked. The Brave, the new Pixar film looks awesome. You didn't let me finish my hang up. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> hang up. No, but did you like the Brave trailer? I love the Brave oh, trailer. Oh, I can't. We're gonna we're gonna go have to go see Brave. Yeah. It's awesome. So you were talking about your redheaded the men. The Gaby kid. The redheaded league. Sherlock Holmes. You know that. I don't story. No? no. No, there's this there's this like nephew <laughs> character that's living in London, so like it takes place on Mars and in Edward I mean Burroughs. New York. Edward Burroughs. Edgar. 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 Edgar Rice Burroughs. Burroughs. And he um <laughs> this kid <laughs> lost him. <laughs> this kid would not stop. He would never Edward close his mouth. Hands. Ever. <laughs> you okay, Lee? The visual effects are fantastic. And yes. Yeah. When he gets on one of those speeders, it reminds me of a speeder, Return of the like Jedi. A, That's <laughs> totally what I was thinking yeah. when they did that scene. I'm like, thank you. Now you I can't even say If it. I had to pilot anything 200 miles per hour through a forest, I would die. <laughs> yes, you would. <laughs> <laughs> They're not really good at flying. I mean, like, yeah. the people that aren't native to these things, they keep on crashing off. That like was it. actually a, a very nice touch. You know, yes. like, in a lot of movies where they're like, I'm going to try this plane, and they're like, they just, like, stumble like for, like, Independence half, Day. They stumble for, like, half a second, and they're professional flyers. True. This one, no, like, every every single time he had to fly, it was very <laughs> wobbly, it was very... It's just like the greatest American hero. You would oh, think after a while he would be American able hero. to fly. Seriously, how many episodes? Yeah, like how many episodes does it oh. take for him to finally figure it out? You've got to watch that. Again. It's just the flying part. Done. Are we done talking about John the, Carter? The John <laughs> Carter. John what else do we want to talk Carter. about in terms of John Carter? It was good. It's it's well, fun. Yeah. I, 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 There's I had a couple a lot of fun. things. Yeah, like I none of neither of them agree with me, but there was. I, I, what do you mean? How do you know? We've been agreeing with you for oh, you most of it so far. Yeah, we you think you're an amazing actor too. We and indubitably think you're. Amazing yes. okay, Could you do yes. that romance scene again? No! Amazing. No! <laughs> One thing actually I would have changed was actually the beginning. Of oh it. yeah. Oh, uh, I know. I know you don't disagree, yeah. but I was thinking about it totally last night, with you. Okay. and uh, it would be like okay. So the beginning of it, it starts right on Mars, and it's not like yes. I didn't dislike it. I just would have preferred if, if the they... ships came in like Star Wars and pew pew pew. <laughs> quiet, quiet. You know what? No, it started out on Mars, and there was a battle and everything, and then it went to New York, and uh, mm. it cut to New York and everything, and I, I just, it just, the mystery for me was kind of lost. You know, I would have preferred, had it started in New York, and had them sort of discover, hang on, let yeah. me, let me finish. <laughs> for me, it would have been like, say, if The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe had started in Narnia. That's what it would have been like for me. Because the joy out of these kinds of movies for me is dis 
discovering the world with the character, as opposed to knowing things that that character doesn't know. It's like if Return of the Jedi started off in the Ewok village. Exactly. That makes no sense. <laughs> Okay, no, I hear that, man. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. This, that's but, where I'm coming from, though. I, I hear you. I hear you. Or my like my, it's, my it's counterpoint Stargate to that started off would be on that my, my, my counterpoint to yes. that, if I keep interrupting... What? Stargate. It's like Stargate. Oh, well... Okay. Or if Atlantis started off in Atlantis. Okay, let's, let's let Leaf talk for a second. Okay, my counterpoint to all of that is that he had so much material to deal with, he had to set up the story in a certain way. And I think the only way to properly set up the, the, the necessary tension beforehand is to introduce it right at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Because that's where you get introduced to the bad guy. He didn't have time later on to, to do that introduction well. Or if and Nightmare Before Christmas started off in Christmas Town. <laughs> that's true! It's not like that at all. <laughs> It's not, no, it's Lion, not close. Line the Witch in the Wardrobe was where I was coming from, mostly. Yes, okay. but Line the Witch in the Wardrobe, you, the, the amount of material that you have to be true to is, is significantly less. Okay. okay. Right? Like, it's, right. it's an easier... If, like, Enchanted started off in the real world first. Mm-hmm. I think the original Dune book started off on his original planet. And so, which was water filled, right? And then he had to move to Arrakis. Yeah, it was just the mystery sort of built up because you hear like the legends or something. Or uh, if or if, if you we... saw the Cloverfield monster from the beginning. Do I think you can fly? Do you think I can fly? Till you touch I the sky. <laughs> I believe I can fly. I started something bad. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could feel so free. For anyone that actually started, anyone that enjoys more of the Star Trek science fiction where they explain all of the science behind things, oh, or gosh. even make up the science behind things, this probably isn't a movie for you because you do have to take a lot at face value. Yeah. Well, but the thing to remember, though, is that even though they might not, even if they want that explanation of the technology, what you have to remember, though, is that what Burroughs wrote here yeah. is... It was the predecessor to everything that we know in science fiction today. You will Edwin. You'll see the parallels everywhere. It's insane. I'm so good at bad Just ignore them. Other than that, I mean, that. I mean we could nitpick the movie. There's a lot of things to There's nitpick. There's a lot of things to nitpick. I mean, I don't know, you know... But you know what? The reality for me is, is as I was watching it, I thought to myself, could I watch this again? And the thing is, yeah, I could totally watch it again. It's a movie that I'd buy. It's two and a half hours, too. It's long. <laughs> Yeah, I was the the one one other thing that I, I just I'm trying to think positive things about the movie here uh, is that uh, he handled Stanton Andrew Stanton ha handled the tension very well very right well. like he kept mm -hmm. the pace going in such a way that when a funny moment or a joke hit you kind of weren't you didn't know you were going to be expecting it and it relieved just enough tension so that you could keep going. Yeah. I was not I was never was, bored during the movie. No, it was yeah. really well paced. It was well paced. Very, very well paced. Yeah. You know, it's not like particularly mind blowing, but it's fun. I enjoyed it. I did. So yeah. me too. Yeah. I I'd say I'd say see it and it's worth seeing in the big screen. But not in three D. No. But well, I think that's the only it way wasn't, you can. but it wasn't bad three D. It wasn't bad. No, but it wasn't great. Yeah. No. Oh, no, if I didn't I mean if I didn't see it in three D I don't think I would have missed no. anything. No. I'm going to try to fly now. <laughs> How good was the dating? Oh, hate you. Oh. Hate you so much. <laughs>